If you wonder, where was I? I was relaxing with happy customers. Hello, noobs. I mean, good evening, infidels. Oh, relax, there, there. Not for long, noobs, if you are here, right? So you installed Jigam and loaded my XML, and you think, what the f- <laughs> So many buttons. Yeah, so many. And you want to look like a pro or not? If you think it's too difficult to use few buttons, just use the shutter button, ignore all others and close this video. But if you still here, let's get this shit done, shall we? MF means manual focus. It's on auto until you use the slider below. Sometimes the slider might disappear. If that happens, just tap the button and switch to AF and back to MF. HDR, High Dynamic Range. If you tap it, it will change to LDR, Low Dynamic Range. Leave it for now or experiment by yourself. Most of the time, LDR is good for silhouette effect. This arrow opens standard Gcam options. You can also swipe down for that. Funnel icon. This is post-processing. Full means on, empty means off. With Alder and XML it will add a bit more contrast and deeper blacks. This is grid icon. It changes the grid type. If you don't know why you need grid for, ask your mom or wait for the future video or just search information by yourself, you lazy infidel. M here means manual exposure compensation. If you tap on the screen, you get the slider on the right side, which will not work because the settings are set up already. To use the slider, you have to switch M to A and you can lock the exposure with the lock icon. Camera icon is the standard mode to use. It means that every sensor gets separate and optimized settings. Change it to HDR+, and you will use Global Lip Patcher, which means one settings for every sensor, which is obviously not that good. Use it only for main, wide camera, for astro shots, and to have more dynamic range on photos, to make them, let's say, a bit brighter. Blah. If you don't know, what are those three buttons here named UW, M and T? You know whom you should ask already. In case she's busy, look at the back of your phone and count how many cameras you have. Magnifying glass is another mode that you probably would like to stay on. In standard Burial it says 12 as 12 megapixels and 48 as 48 megapixels. But we all know it's overrated and no one is printing posters. Unless it's me on the poster. Anyway. Magnifying glass means 12 megapixels photos with more details. Tap and switch to portrait icon and you can use it for human shots. Photos will be less sharp, less contrasted and still 12 megapixels. It works only for main camera. Last one here is the standing guy. That means you can take photos of non-moving objects. Change it to Running Man for fast shutter speed for moving objects, but it comes with the price, especially if you have shitty light conditions as I do here down below. So be prepared for more noise and dark and really underexposed photos. No, I'm not going to explain what is selfie camera switch and the shutter button or preview button. Be aware, this is Burial with Alderon's colors and icons and with Alderon's settings loaded. So if you dare to use different XML, at least read instructions. Now, go take photos. Cheers. <laughs>